Our pace of living leaves us little time for leisure. Our program will give you a chance to experience the fascinating world of traveling, extreme adventures, hunting and fishing. Each week we will take you to the most beautiful places of Kazakhstan. Four months have passed since my visit to the Heavenly Mountains Valley, the central Tenshan. I couldn't wait to return to this place. One day, myself and Vasily, my friend, once again decided to go to the valley of one of the most dangerous rivers, Sarajas. This time, our aim was to find the snow leopard, beautiful and wonderful animal. What a wonderful country we are living in. The northern exposures of Terske Alatau are covered with snow, whereas the southern ones are completely snowless. It is warm here, we are wearing t-shirts. The snow cover is less than during the summer. It's a wonderful place. Leopards dwell here. From the Kumar Pass, the Sarajas River looks the way it does in autumn, except for some frozen parts. After the Kumar Pass, the Sarajas River flows into the canyon with sheer cliffs. It is impossible neither to ride through there on horses nor walk along those cliffs. We want to use the chance and walk across the ice. Although the Sarajas is not completely frozen, there is ice along the river's banks and we will try to go inside this wonderful place where nobody has ever been. Walking in crampons was not difficult, but sometimes we had to climb ice rocks or look for passages on the cliffs on the walls. Professional climbers would find such obstacles as simple ones, but we had to make an effort. Sometimes we had to walk around aside for a kilometer to find a good passage and then return back to the river. The nights were warm. We made a fire from the sunken wood that was in plenty along the river banks. I was surprised to find the sunken wood at the height of 30 to 40 meters on the slope. Judging by these piles of the sunken wood, we can say that the water rises by 20 meters in this canyon during summer. These are the results of Mirzbacher Lake flowing out each year. Each of us had two heavy backpacks. Since we were dragging the bags one by one, we walked just 10 kilometers per day. The ibexes observed our efforts. In their eyes, we probably looked really slow and clumsy and not as a danger to them.
On the third day, we met a male Ibex, the only one that started to show signs of anxiety. Probably the animal considered us not as hunters, but as competitors. However, after 100 meters, the Ibex lost any interest in us. There is a scenic gorge of 20 kilometers away from the river. We were surprised to see the ibexes at the height of 4,000 meters in such an inhabited place. We just saw a very large ibex grazing with the herd. His horns are minimum 1 meter and 40 centimeters, maybe more. We found many remains of the ibexes in the gorge, mostly fresh ones. Our first guess was that epizootic icarine disease raged here, but we have not noticed the animals, which looked ill among the ones we met on our way. Lots of wolf traces and scats showed that the wolves hunted the ibexes here. The wolves killed the ibexes here. We met these wolves in a little while. The female wolf checked its hunting territory regularly and next day we had a chance to film her. We slept quite comfortably during the nights since there was a plenty of sunken wood on the river banks from which we used to make fire. When temperatures dropped till 25, we moved our tent to the fireplace after putting out the fire. At first it was too hot, then warm, and in the morning we were freezing again. The wolves ran down the ibexes on the top, almost to the naval area, and we had to follow them. It was not very comfortable to camp out without the firewood. Our sleeping bags got dampened during the nights and the cloudy weather during the day did not give any chance to the bags to dry. The tent gets covered with a hoarfrost during the night. The sleeping bags get dampened. You need to dry them on the next day. But it is impossible to accomplish if the weather is cloudy without the sun. We tried to dry our sleeping bags using a heater. However, this did not help. So we had to go down to the river and wait for the good weather. We took thermal baths on Saturdays. The water temperature at the Radon stream is almost 50 degrees Celsius. This is Antalya, this is we are not in Antalya. We are on the banks of the Serejas River on the 4th of February. The snow leopard was the main aim of our expeditions, not the ibexes. As soon as the weather improved, we went up the mountains at 3,700 meters above sea level. We saw a lot of snow leopard's traces each day, but did not have a chance to see the cat itself. This is dug by a leopard. The traces are fresh. We need to go ahead. 
The leopards dug ground very often, especially on the top of the hills, along the paths. This is how these animals mark their territory. We hope to find the leopard. Here are the fresh traces of the leopard, of the young leopard. The traces of the leopard differ from the wolf's ones by their roundness. The aerolium is divided into three parts. Four dactyls are located around the aerolium. Here is the recent dug, 50 meters of the previous one. We see the ground dug by the leopard, each 20 to 30 meters along the top of the hill. One day we saw two cats in the dusk at a distance of 800 meters. One ran away, but we filmed another one for some time. We could have achieved better results if we had trail cameras. Several times the leopards were passing near our tent, but did not want to pose for the camera. When we finally lost all hopes to see the Lord of the Mountains for one more time, the leopard came down and looked at us with fear. I still remember these plants. I know that some locals intentionally catch the leopards using loops and traps and sell their fur. I know that many hunters would use their chance to earn money when see leopards. Most of these people could be loving dads and good friends, but they are my enemy. I don't hate them, but I want them to be jailed for killing the leopards. Ten years ago, Rinat Sibgatulin, the taxidermist and my friend, told me about tens of snow leopards' furs, which are being sold on Almaty's black market. According to Evgeny Kashkarov's information, the Snow Leopards Trust's expert, the quantity of leopards in the central Tenshan Mountains has reduced from 1,500 to 150 animals in Kyrgyzstan over the last 20 years. According to the experts' estimates, currently less than 100 leopards dwell in Kazakhstan. We got quickly used to the good cars, internet, trips to Europe, learned how to speak foreign languages and wear fashionable suits. In fact, we will become really civilized when we stop shake hands with northern Neanderthal men, who are not ashamed to kill and have at home the fell of endangered symbol of its own country.